I have been using Hugging Chat for the last couple of days and I absolutely love it. And in this video, I want to break it down. Why do I love it? Before even move forward, I want to say that this is not a drop in replacement of ChatGPT. If you have been using ChatGPT, Hugging Chat is not going to convince you to switch from Hugging Chat to ChatGPT. So why do I love it even if it is not a drop in replacement of ChatGPT? Let's get started with the video. First of all, Hugging Chat is not a new chat bot or chat system altogether. It uses a model that we have seen before, which is a model from Open Assist. So this is a model that is a community driven model that we have already seen before that this is the first version of Open Assist. So why does Hugging Chat make a difference or what is even Hugging Chat? Hugging Chat is a simple interface. All you have to do is you have to go to hf.co slash chat and that is going to take you to this chat interface. And that is the first reason why I love it because if somebody wants to use Hugging Chat, they don't have to go through the steps of installation. They don't have to go through how to download a model, how to upload a model, how to set up an environment. All they have to do is go to the particular URL and they can experience the model straight away. No setup required at all. That's the first reason I love it. It's quite easy for anybody who is coming from ChatGPT world to literally go to hf.co slash chat and then start using it. So as you can see, it says Hugging Chat. This is the first version or zeroth version of Hugging Chat. So making the community's best AI chat models available to everybody. So that means Hugging Face, the company that hosts a lot of models, seems to be running this interface forever where they would pick and choose the best model uh, that is open source available for users to use it as chat. We'll see how that is going to go. But for now, Open Assistant seems to be really a capable model. One, like I said, it is open source effort from the community. So the first reason why I love Hugging Chat is because the straightforward interface, very familiar, everybody is quite familiar with this. You go click the new chat, you can access your history, you can delete your history. So it's it's a very similar interface to ChatGPT. So people are quite familiar with that. And also it is running the latest open source model, which means more and more motivation for people to actually use the model. But now having said that thing, we have to actually get into the model in itself and then see how the model it is. And that's where I like it second. The second reason why I like it is because it's also not just an open source model. It's also a capable model. As you can see, it is a very straightforward interface and you can start with a couple of examples. Write an email from the bullet list and you can see as a restaurant owner, it already started creating something. I can stop, stop it and then I can probably give a better question. Any, a joke about Elon Musk and every time I ask this you can see how fast it is um, Elon Musk why did Elon Musk cross the road to build the tunnels on the other side okay fine I want an email about why I had to take seven day vacation despite a busy schedule I am a data scientist write an email for me okay so as I just said I want to I want an email where it says subject line taking time off hello we have been busy blah blah blah, blah the reason and it says like, why do I want to take the vacation? So the email is quite, uh, quite nice. Um, and you can see it's coherent. So that's something that I like about it. And it's not just the normal English that it does really well. I can also ask coding examples. For example, I can say, can you explain the following code? So I can say import pandas as PD. It's one of the easiest code examples. So I'm not going to judge it completely based on this read underscore CSV. Um, read.csv and I'm going to say df.plot and let's see what it does. So I've just given a simple code and I've asked it to explain it to me. As you can see, it can clearly say that this uses pandas library, reads a CSV and then it plots the data frame. And I can also say, can you modify the above code to our language? And it can actually change the code and uh, it can write it in R, but you can see that sometimes it hits the traffic limit because it's it's currently uh, not from a very big corporate, but again, Hugging Face is not a small company that they cannot do it. So let me ask again. So this is a complaint that a lot of users have mentioned before. So you can see that it, uh, it actually changed the code. So from Python pandas to R, and you can see that it just says visualization method and um, it's not perfect like i said it's not 100 percent perfect there the model definitely needs its own improvement 
but in terms of the versatility that the model brings in as you can see the model can actually write english it can help you with code and it can help you with certain things that we have been always using um, chat gpt for one of the things that i always use chat gpt for is to rephrase my sentences like i'm not a native english speaker so whenever i put like for example youtube comments tweets posts on linkedin sometimes it's really good to have like an assistant or a companion who can go through the post and then say or oh, do do i actually write good english and that's exactly what i'm going to do it here i'm going to say um this can you rephrase this professionally and this that i wanted to rephrase professionally is that this system sucks and probably a bad idea to invest in okay so i've just given the sentence saying that can you rephrase this professionally and that latency is always there so get this system is not optimized for your use case you might want to consider alternative solution i'll definitely use hugging chat for this particular use case and there are a lot of other instances for example one of the most cliched use example of a uh, chat gpt is uh, you ask chat gpt a very simple numeric problem and then you say no 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 uh, that's not the case if friends said uh, it's 3 and you say it it's going to actually come back to you and say i should have known it gives all the details so it says uh 2 plus 1 equals 3 and um, we are talking about actually 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 equals 3 and it it would say okay it's not and it it gives an entire lot of details in itself very similar like what chat gpt would do and also this model is not censored in the same way like chat gpt and open assistant is also bound to improve so right now it's not at its best because this is like you know chat gpt day 0 so this model itself also has to improve so that's what makes it really interesting for me because hugging chat as an interface slapped on top of the best open source model uh, where anybody in the world can directly go and start using the system makes it really an exciting opportunity for a lot of people looking for an alternative i wouldn't necessarily call it an open source alternative why um even though the model is open source we are still using an, a web interface that is hosted somewhere so will i ask questions about my profession like my business data no i will not ask because this is still a cloud based system i am comfortable using an open source solution on my machine if i have to use it with sensitive data but again this is not a question of sensitive data a lot of people do not use this only for sensitive data or a lot of people don't even care if they have got sensitive data or not so i think for people like that this solution is really good and also somehow you know that you are contributing to like a broader cause where somebody is trying to build an, an alternative like a community driven alternative for a, for like a corporate tech giant from open ai but overall if you don't care about any of these things still hugging chat makes a pretty impressive convincing use case for you to use it try try it out and let me know what do you feel about hugging chat if you have been already using hugging chat is there anything that you found interesting is there anything that it does really well for you that chat gpt was not doing good i think you would probably know a lot of things better because once like lot of people have been using hugging chat i think it's going to hit its prime um, but for now this is hugging chat thank you for listening to me see you in another video